Hello, welcome back to Limited Insight and week two of the Granny Annex build. If you've not seen week one, why are you watching this? Seriously, go back, watch week one, then come back. I'll, uh, I'll wait. This week was an eventful week with progress really starting to be made. It was a pretty exciting week too, mainly due to the concrete pour. I can't believe I managed to get so excited about concrete, but I did. I found it pretty interesting. So Monday started with all the shrubs and bushes etc being moved from the bottom lawn to the front of the house ready for the grabber lorry to take away. They then finished digging the foundations ready for an inspection from the council. The foundations were dug down around 800mm or 2.5 feet, probably overkill for this sort of property but better to be safe than sorry. With the inspection done we were ready for some concrete on Tuesday. With the site being so far from the road I was interested to see how they were going to get a full lorry load of concrete into the foundations. The lorry and pump turned up and a giant pipeline was laid up to the site of the annex. Then they mixed up a thin mix of concrete to send down the pipe. This apparently lubes it up to allow the lorry load of concrete to pass through the pipe smoothly. And so the big moment came and it was time to pump the concrete through. It was great to see the concrete being poured into the foundations, it really felt like progress was being made. There were quite a few hands on deck to ensure the concrete got to where it needed to go. Rakes were used to move it into place, uh, but generally it, uh, it does find its own way around the foundations, filling in all the voids perfectly. Iron mesh is thrown in for strength in some places, uh, on top of the stakes that are inserted earlier. The pipe was moved a few times uh, with the aid of a rag. Uh, not very technical here, I didn't get them finishing on film, but, the, but to clear the pipes uh, of concrete, they, they sent down a couple of foam balls to clear it out. They get fired out the other end like a paintball gun uh, into a waiting board, if you're ready that is. Uh, we did manage to lose one of them. Um, I have absolutely no idea where that went, uh, so apologies to any neighbours that have got a concrete soaked sponge ball in, the, in their garden somewhere. After around an hour, if that, the lorry load was empty and the foundations were laid. Day three this week was mainly about deliveries. Loads of stuff turned up, from bricks and blocks to sand and cement, all of which had to be slowly carted up to the site of the annex. So this pretty much took all day, but, but everything got up there, stacked ready for the next few weeks. Thursday came, more blocks arrived, and these started to get laid on top of the concrete foundations. These would serve as the perimeter to the floor and provide a base for the floor beams, several layers of insulation, and a coat of concrete on top of that. So that's all to come uh, in the next couple of weeks. But for now, three layers of blocks were laid around about half of the perimeter. The block work was completed then on the Friday, ready for the floor beams to go in next week. All in all, a lot got done this week uh, and we've got a nice solid base for the building. Uh, the plan for next week is to get the floor beams laid and start on the brickwork for the damp course. So that's it for this one. Uh, thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next episode. Bye bye.